everyone, this is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com. If you haven't subscribed to my email list, head on over and receive a free piece of strategy like the one I'm about to show you each week. All right, so let's get into it. Um, today's note is going to show us how to find out which supporting pages are propping up sites for difficult keywords. So in this example, I'm using car insurance and I want to find out which pages on Allstate, Geico, and NerdWallet are helping it rank because it's not just one page that helps us rank, right? Google needs to see that we are an expert on the entire topic in order to trust us to rank. So how do we do this? It's actually really simple. All right, so what we're gonna do is just say site search allstate.com car insurance, right? So this is going to show us all the pages on allstate.com that are relevant to car insurance that are sort of propping up this main page. So basically you can see here that we've got um, quotes, auto insurance coverage and uh, policies, car insurance for your first car, six types, cheap car insurance, buying online, and why do you need car insurance? There's probably even more if we um, expand out to the second page, but let's take a look at Geico. Similar things, right? Compare estimates. Let's go over to Nerd Wallet. Um, cheapest companies, um, uh, average insurance costs, all of these great uh, topics, right? So th this is what's behind, you know, the top three sites, right? So you can basically do this with your keyword and figure out what pages are behind your competitors and create similar content to them. So what would I do from here? Um, let's just go back to this first result. Um, I'm going to suggest you install SEO Minion if you haven't already. And you're going to just go to organic results and copy um, the first, I guess, nine on this page. And then I'm going to do that for each one of them. And we're going to get a list here of 29 um, different URLs. Now, you can obviously go ahead and ignore the ones that are home pages, but all the rest of these ones, you're going to want to find out. Um, what sort of overlaps and what doesn't. If you're doing this for an established site, you'll wanna find out um, which topics you already have and which ones you don't. But um, if you're starting a brand new site, this is like perfect because it lays out all of the sort of supporting topically relevant content you're going to want for that keyword. And then the next thing I would do is take all of these and put them through Ahrefs batch analysis, check out some of the um, traffic and keyword ranking numbers. So you could prioritize higher traffic, you could prioritize lower traffic um, if those are gonna be easier for you to rank um, on a fresh site and then sort of work your way up. I'll leave that one up to you. But anyway, that's the tip. Basically, you're going to Google the, the keyword, you're gonna find the top results, site search their domain plus that keyword again, and then start looking at what related um, topics they have. And uh, just work those into your site and you should uh, you know, have a pretty good game plan in order to rank long-term for those keywords. All right, there's obviously a lot more to it, but I think that's enough to get you started for today. If you want more tips like this, head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. All right, take care, bye.